Hey everybody, and today is the 8th of December, back with another video review. Uh, it's the 8th of December. Christmas is coming. It's practically here. Anyway, um, <laughs> that was a little bit of for that. Anyway, um, going to be doing a two-pack that I bought on the NECA store on eBay. And that is the NECA Pacific Rim uh, Gypsy Danger and Knife Ad. As you can see here is the packaging for the front. For the back, it just shows a picture of Knife Head and of uh, Gypsy there. Moving on to the toys, we will get to the Kaiju first. Oops. Which is Knife Head. Sorry, I'm, I'm doing a new microphone setup and... It's not working all that well. I mean, the microphone's here, and I just brushed it with my hand, you know, you see. So. Anyway, here is Knifehead, and it is a really, really good likeness to the on-screen model. Uh, the mouth does close, but it looks kind of weird, you know, only half closed. Um, and I'm on my knees because, well, my chair's over there. I really didn't feel like going to get it. And besides, if this works out well, I might as well just keep it this way. Anyway, uh, these arms don't do anything. As I said, the mouth closes, but it does look kind of funny. As opposed to all the way open. The arms uh, will rotate back about that far forward, um, all the way up. And they do bend at the elbow. Now, there is a new knife head that came out. Um... And it's supposedly bigger, and I believe that's supposed to scale with the the newer, um, the bigger Gypsy Danger that came out. And you also have here on the legs, the legs will move, and they do have a knee joint. So this guy can't do very many poses because of the sculpting and whatnot, which is phenomenal. Just the leathery, you know, this actual skin detailing is fascinating the claws are really sharp um and everything and it's just really really good but he's really meant more to be sort of like this um and i do kind of have his uh, tail kind of set up as like a third leg because this guy likes to flop a bit it, it really it's a shame it's an extraordinary shame ah! but he likes he, he likes to to, to tip He's a bit tipsy. So anyway, here he is with another NECA dinosaur, or kaiju, the king of all the kaijus, Gojira. Or for those Americans, Godzilla. And I'm not going to lie, a battle between Knife Hat and Godzilla would be pretty awesome. I'm going with Godzilla. Now, as I said that this was a two-pack, and I just bumped the mic again, it does come with... <laughs> Gypsy Danger. While Gypsy Danger is obviously the, one of the favorite Jaegers of the movie, she doesn't really have a whole lot of posability. I mean, the head can move. Mine's really stiff, though. It'll look down. It'll look up. But it's really limited just by the way that the sculpt is. Um, and again, most of the articulation is limited because of the sculpt. The arms will go in and out. They will rotate, and the wrists do move. There's a slight elbow joint, but there's no, like, swivel, so it can't do the whole thing. Um, and this is the version... Oh, that's what they'd clip in. Okay. Uh, this is the version that, that doesn't come with swords. Um... Although, it looks like it could have them right there. You can see just that little clip on the inside of the wrist there. Looks like it could house the swords. I don't know. I don't have the other Gypsy Danger that came with them. But you do get waist action. It's on a ball joint there. Nothing at the waist, unfortunately. Moving those arms up out of the way here. She doesn't really have outward leg movement because of the sculpt. But you can go forward and then out slightly. Again, because of the way that the plastic is here on the side, and the, just due to the sculpt of the toy, 
it can't really move out or in. That's about all the movement you're going to get. And you do have a knee, and you have a foot pivot, and an ankle. So you can make him look like he broke his ankle or something. And that's about it for Gypsy. Now, this is a NECA toy. Well, this is a NECA collectible, as we'll say. So the, uh, the attention to detail is astounding. I mean, it's beautiful. All the weathering details on Gypsy's chest here are just fantastic. The, the vortex thing there in the middle looks really, really good. The details on the back here with all the exposed bits of robot are really cool. The, the pinstriping, the 34. The only thing that's missing is the little red uh, Gypsy logo on, uh, on this side of the chest. Which they do show on the package but is not on the actual toy. It, it doesn't bother me that much. You know, because it, it was a really small detail in the movie. So, here he is with Gojira. So, as you can see. He does stand a bit taller than Gojira, but I, I, I still think Godzilla could take him. Or her. Considering how Gypsy was basically lost in the battle. I can rebuild it. Gypsy Danger 2. And here, I was wrapping some Christmas paper. Wrapping Christmas wrapping, yes. And here he is with Knife Head. Now, I believe that this scale is accurate. I think Knife Head might have been a little smaller. Um, well, maybe not. I believe this is accurate-ish uh, to how they appeared in the film. But they can only really stand there. Gypsy, Gypsy looks good, but he just really can't. He just kind of stands there. So that's about it. I think I paid about $50 for the two of them. Considering they were about $40 a piece plus $10 shipping. Yeah. I thought, it, no, I paid like 48 or something. It, it wasn't quite 50 but uh, do be careful. These are sharp. The the tail, the, the, the claws are sharp on knife head. So if you have young, youngins, uh, I don't want to watch them with him, and especially with the knife head. Hello? Hello? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway. Uh, this has been Rocktimus Prime, on my knees, with Knife Head, Gypsy Danger, and Gojira, saying, hope you guys have a good day, good night. Uh, whenever you're watching this, take care, guys, and you guys have a Merry Christmas.